For the last four months, BYU engineers have been visiting local junior high schools to help students build robots. Reporter Brenna Donnelly has a story of Sea Perch, an engineering project that works underwater. How do you get 200 middle schoolers to spend hours working on math and engineering? You say underwater robots. They are ecstatic. You know, they got biggest smiles on their faces and they're like cutting PVC pipe and making a robot. It's crazy. This year, BYU joined with a program called Sea Perch to give kids at 10 local schools the chance to see what life is like as an engineer. 15-year-old Bryce Marsh said it was a no-brainer. I mean, automatically we totally decided to do this. this is like the coolest thing ever. They had three months to build an underwater rover. BYU engineering majors acted as mentors and visited the schools every week to help out. These kids have been preparing all semester for today's competition. Students start by putting their robot directly in the water. They have to maneuver it in and out of three holes in the apparatus. And after that, they have to pick up six pool rings and bring it back to the front. If they can do that in under 10 minutes, they get full points. But of course, they only have a controller that can go up, down, left, and right. I'm no engineer. I was blown away by some of these kids. We had everything went wrong, but we, we fixed it. And so that was what was cool, because we were able to fix it, because we knew how to build it. And at first, they were very you know, intimidated by it and things. But once they got started on it, they have just gone gangbusters with it. They're doing it in their bathtubs. They're doing it anywhere they can find water and submerge it, they're doing it. These are our motors. These are our flotation devices. And this motor was dumb. We had to replace it three times. As well as this wire. The wire was shorting out right here. And so we cut the wire and stripped it and um, reconnected to the motor. So that was a big... And we had to solder our circuit board. Soldering circuit boards? These students have had some years so far. They told me they want to be engineers when they grow up. Sea Perch organizers say that's exactly the point. We're giving them a sense of what innovation is about and how, um, how technology can affect our lives and a little bit about how technology works. They see what raw materials now become, can become things like robots, right? The purpose of Sea Perch is to promote STEM education, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Uh, and the reason they're doing this is the Department of Defense is really concerned about a lack of students studying those, in those subjects. So they really want to promote that type of education. They think it's important for our economy. They also think it's very important for the Department of Defense. They employ a lot of engineers and scientists. Winners received Kindle Fires, iPods, and watch calculators. And everyone got an invitation to keep on engineering. In October, when we started, many of you thought that engineers either drove trains or fixed power lines. But you now know that engineers are the people that discover new things, build amazing devices, and invent new technologies that change our lives. Brenda Donnelly, BYU Weekly.